Hello everybody, this is the Pickaxe of Diamonds, the Pickaxe of Diamonds, and welcome back to my survival world. Now, since it's night time, I guess I'm going to sleep. Okay, so it's morning. Now today, I thought that I would take my seeds and take my hoe and plant some plant the seeds next to my sugarcane farm and start a wheat farm because that bone meal thing with just one seed hasn't really been doing it and I'm also going to need some more sticks to craft some more fences let's do that now Okay, I've got this stuff. Oh, and more seeds. Hmm. So, I've also got this extra wood that I gathered last night. So why not turn that into wooden planks? Now I've got a whole stack. That's convenient. It's funny that I'll only need two fences, but that's how many I'm going to need. Oh, I'm also going to need my swords, and maybe this, and maybe this too. Anything else I need? Well, I don't think so. Let's check for mobs. Are there any mobs around? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think we're good to go. Hey, more saplings. Just what I need. <laughs> so, right now I'm just gonna take my axe and chop down this, because I'm going to put the seeds on the other side. And now I'm going to hoe this. Hmm. Okay, I think that'll be good. Hey, you know what? I'm actually going to have two rows of seeds. Wait, I don't have quite enough. I need one more for that. Let's go around breaking glass, I mean grass, until we get one more. There, we got 18 seeds now. Since in, so since we're adding an extra row, I'm actually going to craft two more fences. Gonna need six wooden planks, which is like this, and now I have sixteen fences. Oh, wait. I don't think I needed that many fences. Wait, did I just place a fence up there? Oh, looks like I did. Why does that never work? Why does the trap door never work? There we go. Ah, seriously. So, we're going to put the fences here. Now I have two left over, because I crafted some extra. And now, I'm going to hoe more land.
and plant all my seeds. There. Now I've started a wheat farm. I could harvest some of the sugar cane. I only want to harvest the fully grown ones, though. Oh man, one of the seeds popped out. I'm gonna have to replant it. So, there's our wheat farm. Looks kind of dull compared to the sugarcane farm since the sugarcane grows so much taller. And it's even thicker, wider too. Well, I've got six sugarcane left. And do I have any paper? Well, I don't have any paper. But I'm going to craft this into paper. Now I got six paper. I can make a couple more books and make another bookshelf. Let's put our tools back that we don't need. And I'm getting hungry, I should eat. Now, I was thinking of going to the nether. But first, I'm going to take my slabs and put them in front of the portal. That looks nice. And it's a an actual use of the slabs. And this is just for easy access. Oh, I should probably take a boat too. And arrows. <laughs> I'm actually only, only going to need one arrow since this bow has infinity. So, here we are in the nether. I probably should have brought some blocks too. Let me go back. So, what should we bring? Well, probably cobblestone. There's not much use for it, except for crafting tools. But, hey, cobblestone's everywhere. Oh man, that makes me kind of dizzy when I come out of the nether portal. Now, today I'm going into the nether not to kill blazemen or anything, or other mobs for that matter, but to mine nether quartz. I think it would make a nice ceiling. Man, there are large veins of this stuff. And it drops XP. Lucky I wasn't standing on that. You know, I probably shouldn't mind that anyway. But wait. This one has a block under it. Well, there's some wasted quartz. Now, where else should I go? I'm going to craft these into quartz blocks now.
there's some quartz. But I'm not sure I want to risk going over there. Looks like there's some, oh no, a ghast. One ghast sound, and I know. I'm actually going to head in here for protection. always make me feel uneasy. Not sure if I should venture over there. But there's more quartz. Let's stop this lava flow. Why not here? Don't know how much I'm gonna need. of quartz in it. Might even be two veins together. Eleven blocks. Well, don't think I'm gonna venture over there. Not only is there no quartz, but there's a ton of lava. Let's go over this way now. I should go back and kill those ghasts. Well, I don't see them. Maybe they're behind me or above me. But I don't think they pose a threat to me here. go back. Oof. That was a close one. Let's sleep. It seems it's night time. Well, I've got 11 quartz blocks. Should I chisel them or anything? Or make them into pillar quartz? Nah. Ah. Oh. Got to shift click. That's that's useful for when your crafting table you're stacking on top of your crafting table. You know why? You know where I think we should put this first? Right over here. I think it would look nice. I've got one extra block. How about here? Man, I didn't realize how much of this I'd need. I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Lots of quarts. That's a lot. Oh no, I just trapped myself in this bookshelf. Let's mine this cobblestone to get out. I don't want to mine the bookshelves because they don't drop bookshelves. They drop books and not the wood. That would be inefficient to mine them. Well, I've got this and other quartz. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Hmm. You know those... You know that cave that I found down near the dungeon? I've been wanting to explore that. Let's go and do that. What? I should probably check for mobs first. There don't seem to be any. And, of course, if I'm exploring in these caves, I should be bringing torches. One of the most important things when you're exploring in a cave. I'm gonna take all of them. Maybe I'm gonna craft a little more. Pressure plates, buttons, and torches. The things you can make with wood. Alright, now I got 51. That should be good. I think it's interesting how you can... I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Here's zombies. They can't harm me in here. Enderman? Hey, redstone ore. Look at that. Well, I don't know where the ender went. The enderman is. Oh well. Wait, wasn't there a cave around here? Oh, it was in the dungeon level. Duh. Well, let's go mining. should block out this flow. There. Oh, looks like it's mob fighting time. And skeleton fighting time. Oh yeah, I meleeed him. Got his arrows. A big cave. Let's explore it. I like to place torches wherever necessary. I'm running out of blocks. If I do, I could always mine some more. I think I'm always going to stick to the right side. There's the Enderman. I better not look at him.
is going to be my first encounter with an Enderman. Going in. And I got his Ender Pearl, yes. That was exciting. Quite a lot of coal here. I should probably also look down occasionally though. Well, to keep myself from being sneaked up on by creepers and other mobs. That seems to be it. Hey, what's this? Oh man, it's a big ravine. With a creeper at the bottom. Hello, creeper. You can't get to me here. In fact, you may not even notice me. Hey, more gold ore. Three gold ore. Any more? Nope. And a bat. Better be careful not to get shot off of this. Well, I just killed my first Enderman. That was pretty exciting. But you know what? I think it's getting kind of late. This is turning into a pretty long episode. So I'm just going to go back. They sound really close. Don't think they are though. It's kind of a tedious journey climbing up this ladder. But there's not much of a better way to do it. my redstone there, my cobblestone there, and my useless dirt there. Might as well combine this dirt into two different stacks. I should also take my saplings and put them with the other saplings. Anything else I could put in the stack? Bread, flour. Oh, I do have more bread. take these fences and put them in there. So, uh, got 26 coal. And I'm going to take one of this coal and smelt my gold ore. Anything else I could smelt? No, seems not. I've got a bone, rotten fresh, and an ender pearl. It, do I have a stack of rotten flesh? Oh, right. I used my cactus to dispose of it. Well, looks like it's night time, so I'm going to sleep once again. And 
my gold is done smelting. Got this bone. I could use it for bone meal. My furnace is still going, but I don't have anything to cook. Any ores to smelt. I'm gonna get rid of this cobblestone. So, right now, I'm going to craft a clock. Tick tock. And with that clock, I will use it in the mines to tell what time it is. I'm going to keep my ender pearl safe here. If I get a blaze rod, then I can combine them and make an eye of ender. Looks like my weed's growing fine. I wonder what's the problem with this one. All the sugar cane has grown, except for this one sugar cane. Oh well. Eleven more sugar cane. And really fast, too. have sugar cane somewhere else? No? Oh well. Oh, I've got 15 paper. But instead of using paper to craft books, I'm going to use it with my compass to craft a map. An empty map. But when I right click on it, it becomes a regular map. I wonder why it's at the edge of the map. I wonder why I'm at the edge of the map. Because I think I should be in the center of the map when I create it. Oh well. So, this is my building, with tiny little water on it, and a tiny little sugar cane and wheat farm. I wonder what that brown, orangish block is off to the left. There are actually a couple more of those. Well, I guess that's about it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. But first... <laughs> I am going to... throw my rotten flesh onto the cactus from here. And it missed the cactus. <laughs> oh well. I suppose it'll despawn. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. For reals this time. <laughs>